YouTube is the second largest search engine next to Google. So getting your podcast on the platform can help your show become more discoverable, ultimately expanding your audience. In this video, I will give you a step-by-step -step breakdown of how to get your podcast on YouTube. There are two ways that you can get your podcast on YouTube. You can add your RSS feed to YouTube. An RSS feed is a unique link that you will be provided by your podcast hosting provider. By giving YouTube access to this RSS feed link, your channel will be automatically updated with new episodes as they are released. However, even if you have a video podcast, by going this route and connecting your RSS feed to YouTube, it will only pull the audio and use your cover image as a static image over top of that audio. If you have a video podcast and you want that video podcast on YouTube, you can upload those video episodes to YouTube manually, exactly the same way you would upload a YouTube video. And then you put all of those episodes into a playlist, which you then set as a podcast. We will walk through both ways. Here's how to add your RSS feed to YouTube. First, you need to find your RSS feed. The location of this is different based on your hosting site. A simple Google search will help you find it. On Spotify for Podcasters, it's located under Settings, Podcast Availability, RSS Feed. So I'm just going to copy this and head over to my YouTube studio. So here's the back end of my YouTube channel. Head to Create, New Podcast, Submit RSS Feed. Now YouTube will walk you through the process of adding your RSS feed. Head to Next. Add your RSS feed URL right here. Select Next and you'll have to verify your ownership by putting in a verification code. Now you can choose to upload all of your episodes, upload episodes published since a certain date, or do not upload any old episodes. I'm going to select upload all episodes in the RSS feed. It will take a while to upload and process these episodes because YouTube is actually turning them into a video podcast by creating a static image over top of your audio content. So I came back a while later and you'll see that now they're all uploaded. Here you can customize what you want your podcast to look like, and you can change the visibility to public, but you will still have to manually change each episode to public. Sounds tedious, I know, but here's a way to make this process quick and easy. On your channel content, scroll down to the bottom. Change rows per page to 50. Up at the top, select the box beside video. Edit, visibility, change private to public, and select save. There you go, my podcast has been added to YouTube. Now, maybe you have a video podcast and you want those actual video episodes to be uploaded to the platform. Unfortunately, these will not come through with your RSS feed. If you want your video podcast on YouTube, you will have to upload these manually. A best practice for putting your podcast on YouTube is to make sure that it is some sort of video. This just allows viewers to have something to watch, which can encourage more engagement. The video that the YouTube RSS integration will create is boring, to be honest. It's just a static image. The best and most engaging way to create a video podcast is by recording video while you record your podcast, so showing your face on camera. But if you already have your audio podcast ready to go and you want to turn it into a more dynamic video, you'll want to create something called an audiogram. This is essentially just a canvas with animated text or a waveform that goes along with your audio file like this. If you want to learn how to do this, head to the video linked above for a step-by-step -step guide, and then come back to this video once your audiogram is ready to be uploaded to YouTube. To upload your video podcast to YouTube, it's as simple as uploading a normal YouTube video. Head to Create, Upload Videos, and upload all of your video podcast episodes. I only have one, so I'm just going to upload that. You'll want to add the podcast episode title and description. Here's a sneaky hack for this. If you record your episodes on Riverside.fm, I'll link a video above on how to do that, or if you upload your already completed video podcast to Riverside with this upload button, head into the video, select Generate Show Notes, and Riverside will generate an optimized description, titles, and chapter markers that you can then copy and paste over to YouTube. This workflow will save you so much time. Now scroll down, head to Playlists, and select new playlist at the bottom, new podcast. Now you'll want to add all of the details of your podcast. You can fill out your podcast name, description, add your cover image, and select create. Now whenever you upload new videos to your YouTube channel and you want them to be added to your podcast, you would just head to playlists, 
and underneath playlists, you have your video podcast option right here. To navigate to your podcast in the back end of YouTube, head to content, podcasts, and you will see it right here. And if you head over to YouTube Music and search that podcast, you will see it show up on that platform as well. Now, remember how I talked about Riverside? Well, there's also this feature called Magic Clips. If you record on Riverside, you can use this feature to create both medium length clips and short clips to also post to your channel. You can use these as teasers redirecting to the full length episode to increase your chances of your podcast gaining traction. To learn more about Magic Clips, I will link a video above to help you out. That's how to get your podcast on YouTube and increase your chances of visibility. If you want some more tips, tricks, and tutorials on podcasts and high quality content creation, make sure to subscribe to this channel. We release a bunch of videos every week designed to help you crush your content creation goals. So press that bell icon so you never miss a video release. Link your YouTube podcast in the comments so we can see what you're creating. Now, if you're wondering if this is even worth all of the extra work, I'm going to leave a video here for you to watch that will tell you just how important it is to have your podcast on YouTube. And I'm also going to put a playlist of videos here that will show you how to record a video podcast in high quality that people actually want to watch. Thanks for hanging out with me. My name is Bridget O'Rourke, and I'll see you next week.